Hey, happy Friday. Mike Donnelly here of the Coca-Cola Company, a.k.a. Mickey Douay in Second Life, and I'm the project lead for Coca-Cola's Virtual Thirst Program. It's a contest, if you haven't heard, that we have in market where we're asking people to help us develop a virtual vending machine of the future. That's recognizing that in real life people get thirsty, and when they do, we hope it's one of our products they choose to drink to guide and quench that thirst. Well, with the great upswing in use of virtual worlds, and Second Life in particular, it's our theory that even avatars likely get thirsty. And it's also our theory that what they likely thirst for most uh, are experiences. So our contest is really all about uh, developing an experience machine, some type of futuristic appliance that would deliver happiness and positivity and excitement and a bubbling, great, wonderful experience on demand. We're doing this because we think some of you may have some fun in developing this great new experience machine right along with us. And we're also doing it because we want to learn how to become better markers. We want to learn how to we want to learn how to best market within virtual environments. So one of our guiding principles since the very beginning of this was to listen, to really, really listen from beginning to end, and actually respect the community, respect the environment, and respect the economy that's already taken Second Life to where it is today. So first, I want to say thanks to all of you that have joined the conversation and share with us your comments. And certainly thanks to all of you that have already entered the contest. We've got some incredible and mind-blowing entries already, so we can't wait to see what the ultimate uh, winning concept is, which, if I haven't said already, is uh, something that we're going to actually bring to life digitally and give away for free in the Second Life environment. I'm doing this video blog specifically just to share with you some of the most common comments that have come up thus far and address them the best I can. The first one is really all about the prize. To date, we uh, decided to give away a trip for two to California to go out and visit with the company, millions of us, to take this new winning concept, build it digitally so that we can give it away throughout the Second Life community. Well, some people are saying, you know what? I live in San Francisco. That's really not that great a prize for me. Not a big deal. Coke, can't you do anything better, ben, can't you do anything better than that? So I'm here to say that, yes, right now, uh, we are listening, we are hearing, and we are upping the ante and we are offering an additional half a million Linden dollars. So we're sweetening the pot. We hear you, we're adding to it, and don't blow it all in one place. The second most common thing we're hearing is, uh, don't make me pay taxes on the prize. Well, while I'd like to fix this one, there's not much I can do about it. It's one of those legal things. Something to do with the tax code or how contests are regulated. I actually sat down and talked to our legal department about this, and they had an incredibly long, very compelling argument. I don't think I can explain it, but bottom line is you'll have to take that one up with the IRS. The third most uh, common thing that was coming up is, why can't we submit via blogs? And ultimately, we decided against this to protect your rights. We thought long and hard about it, but we needed to be sure that the idea was really yours and not something that you may have read about on someone else's blog or, say, someone else's Flickr site and just ended up tweaking it a bit. Uh, so I suggest you just go ahead and stick to one of the four methods we already have in place. You can enter on virtualthirst.com, you can enter on MySpace, YouTube, or, of course, in World on Second Life. The final thing that came up was, why should I sign Coke intellectual property rights for my idea? And this is another legal issue, just something I can't overturn. Uh, frankly, it's, you know, if you were to come up with some crazy sounding idea, like my machine would vend Coke in an invisible bottle, and then in the year 3000 or so, invisible bottle technology came into fruition, we would actually have to ask you, or I guess your grandchildren in this case, for permission to do so. We don't want to get into that kind of mess. So I guess if you want to make millions of dollars in the year 3000, you might want to keep those really good ideas to yourself and we'll take whatever you decide to give us. So again, the purpose here was just to let you know that we are listening. We really appreciate your feedback. We really appreciate your entries, and you can continue to do so right up until the final date on May 25th, 2007. Thanks again, everyone, and have a terrific, terrific weekend. Bye-bye.